Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions. Now today I'm going to be taking you on the road with us to Manchester where we're going to be doing a Wi-Fi installation for a fashion brand at one of their stores. And basically we're going to be putting in some super reliable Wi-Fi so they can use all their payment systems, their tills, and also for the office staff that are going to be working in the lower levels of that shop. So the product we're going to be using today is Hewlett Packard Enterprises Instant On. And this video is very kindly sponsored by those guys. Um, and I'm really happy that we can do some kind of collaboration with this because it is a product we use. I'm not just plugging this for no reason whatsoever. We've probably done about 40 installations uh, with this equipment. I can tell you it is excellent kit. So specifically, we're gonna be using the AP22 um, and also one of their switches, which I'll show you in a moment. This is a Wi-Fi 6 access point. I'm gonna go into the specs of that in a minute. We'll also do some unboxing. So the AP22, if you look at it, says Aruba Instant On. So a little bit confusing at the moment. The company are going through a rebranding. So uh, some of the products say Aruba on them. And if you look at this one, for example, this is the AP22D. This just says Instant On. So this is uh, now packaged as Hewlett Packard Enterprises Instant On. This one is still under the Aruba Instant On, but these products all work together. They're all under the same app, etc., and they're all fantastic. Okay, so where might you deploy Hewlett Packard Enterprises Instant On or HPE Instant On for short? Well, it's ideal for small business, medium business. It's for people that are looking for a super reliable Wi-Fi without all the complications of a difficult configuration, etc. The way it's set up is using an app and basically the app is connected to uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprises servers and you control it all from there. So it's very, very simple. Um, it takes probably about 10 minutes to set up a simple installation of these access points. It's so, so easy. And it makes it ideal as well for people that wanna do it themselves because you can literally just plug it in, get it connected, do a couple of bits on the app and then you're good to go. Now I'm not actually gonna show you the setup on the app of this access point because I've already got a video on that. So I'll put that up in the corner now or possibly that corner. Um, and then you'll be able to see how to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at the unboxing and then we'll look at the specs. And then finally, we're gonna give you a quick whiz through of our installation. Okay, so I'm on HPE's uh, website here and we can see we've got a HPE network and instant on access point AP22. As I mentioned, it's still got the Aruba branding on this one, but it all falls under this banner. Okay, so it tells you a little bit about where it might do be deployed here which obviously retail store is what we're going to be doing today but what I want to look at is the specs so if I click on the technical specs here we get taken to a few of their access points here so we've got the AP22 the AP22D which is the one I had behind me and then we've got the AP25 which is uh, for more more connected devices so let's go through this first of all as I said we've got some of the uh, bits and pieces here where it might be used it's got a recommended number of active devices per AP. And I really like this about um, HPE Instant On because they're realistic with these figures. Some brands tend to exaggerate this slightly, but they're quite realistic with the figures. So it's 75 um, clients, which I'm not worried about at all uh, here because we will have way less than that. And we've got two of the access points. Um, but obviously if you want a little bit more, then you're gonna go for an AP uh, 25. So you've got max data rates. These data rates are added together, so you're not going to get 1,700 megs through this access point most of the time. Normally, find these sit at around sort of 600 megs without any sort of uh, playing with the configuration, etc., which is more than enough for the scenario we're going to be deploying it in. So it's two times two, so that means it's got two uh, five gigahertz and two 2.4 radios. Got the weight there uh, and then you can see the radios there as well we've got wi-fi 6 on the 2.4 and on 5 gigahertz so it's completely wi-fi 6 device we've seen the dimensions already it's pretty small um, and it can be powered by poe and it's just standard poe so 802.3 af draw is pretty small 10.1 watts that's absolutely fine we've got a switch with a lot more power than that today and i'm going to show you the specs of that in a moment okay so i've switched over to the switches here we've got the hpe networking instant on series 1930 so these are the switches here you can see they're very nice looking they've got this sort of white exterior which makes them stand out from other brands um, i quite like the look of them they're pretty cool um, and if i go to technical specs here i can show you which one we're using so we're using this middle one here 
It's an eight port uh, PoE switch. So it's actually got the eight one gig ports here and it's also got two one gig SFP ports. So I suppose you could say it's a 10 port switch, but eight ports PoE. Um, it's pretty small and it is rack mountable. Um, and I'll be doing that in the video shortly. We've got a throughput capacity of 14.88 MPPS. We've got 20 gigs of switching capacity. Um, reliability is 95. I don't know exactly what that means, actually. I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, and then we've got 150.2 watts of power. And it's got a limited lifetime warranty. So if we look at the uh, PoE power, we've got 124 watts. So that is not the power that you're getting from PoE. It's up here, 124 watts. So as the access point is only drawing 10.1 watts, we've got plenty of power. We're also going to be connecting a VoIP phone to this as well, which again, will have a pretty low draw. So it's more than capable of doing the job. Okay, let's get on to the unboxing of the AP22. Okay, so here we've got the uh, box. So if I just open this up and see what we've got inside. First thing we've got is a quick start guide um, with some QR codes to get you, uh, get you set up with the app. Um, that's about it there. Then we've got the actual access point itself. We'll take that out. Uh, it's a pretty nice looking uh, device, um, very nice rounded corners. It's got a couple of status lights here. We've still, we've still got the Aruba Instant on, as I said earlier, but this is a uh, HPE Instant on device. On the back here, we've got the uh, PSU, which I'll show you in a moment. So you can actually power this through that and also through PoE. So you've got the choice, either you use this one or you can use the PoE. We've got a console port here. I've never actually used that one, but that is an option as well. And then we've got the ethernet port here, which obviously if, if you're using a PSU, you don't need to get PoE, but if you aren't using a PSU, then you can use uh, PoE to power this device. And that's normally how we would do it. So that's about it on the access point. Let's put that to one side. Okay, so this is the PSU itself, just a little uh, power pack there with a lead, and I've got a UK plug. Obviously, depending on the country, you'll get a different one. We open it up, we have got a uh, Ethernet cable in that. This is a flat one, um, two meter one, um, pretty useful actually. And then we've got the bracket itself. So the bracket's really nice and simple. Um, it's just got two screws on it, and you'll see that later in the video. Um, it's a really simple uh, installation for that and it basically just goes on the back here slides on and clicks into place and that's it so that's all you get in the box um nice and simple so let's get on with the next stage Okay, so that was it. Please do check out Hewlett Packard Enterprises Instant On, and thank you very much for watching the video. Please do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.